Hello guys and welcome to Custom Nails by Kia. I'm going to do a video with our ASP dipping system. So we're going to use that and then what I'm going to do because again it's Custom Nails by Kia. I'm going to custom out to fit my personality because I didn't see a lot of videos with dip nails and nail art so i figured i would do a video for you to see some of the options that you can do with dip manicure so we're gonna again use the asp nail system which is a pretty good system i've used it before um each one of them come with the numbers for the steps that you use them and it came with instructions um, of course I've used them already and then this would be the fourth one which would be let me know if you can see them um, I think that's good and then this is the brush cleaner that they give you it came with powder but I'm going to use the pink um, rose petal pink today because that's I feel like a pink girl I want to do some pink um, nails and I have my clear. It, it also come with the dipping dish. I've already filled it with my clear for my base. And um, I pretty much have everything set as to what I'm going to do. And then I'll explain as I go. Okay, so let's get started. So, um, yeah, I may talk through the video, may babble along, but just bear with me. Like, again, this is my first video, so... I'm a little nervous, but we're just going to go ahead and and get going and talk our way, way through it. Okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe our nails off with some lint-free wipes. And to save money, instead of buying lint-free wipes, I took... Um, I used Viva Pepper Towel and I used it and I cut it up into these small little pieces and put them in a container and um, like this little container, store them in there just to save money um, because they, they will charge you a lot of money for some lint free wipes. You can do your own um, kind of like that. So what I'm going to do is take some alcohol and I'm going to just put a little bit here on the wipe. Just a dab. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe each nail clean. And what this do is it cleans the, each nail bed to prep it and get it ready for the service that you're going to get done or do. Or And earlier I broke this nail and the whole tip and had to repair because I don't like plastic tips and so I repaired it so I can keep my length until it grows out long enough to cut it and I left them a little long these are my natural nails that I've been growing out doing doing the dip system so that's the first thing we're gonna do okay next we're gonna buff the nail I would some people will use a file to get the shine off the nail but as you can see I don't really have a lot of shine on them and so what I'm going to do is just lightly buff them with my buffer on the heavy grit side and that'll, that'll kind of rough them up enough for the product so I'm going to buff each nail I'm just going to do this starting with my right hand and just kind of buff them up a little bit Making sure that I'm, you know, kind of getting around that cuticle area. Um, I am a licensed nail tech. I have been since 19, oh, I'm going to tell my age here, 1992. And so we learned a lot of things by hand. Uh, that was before the electric drills and things came out. You had to know how to apply product by hand. 
um, and file. And they have your timing down as well. Um, once the Asian community came in, it really challenged you to have your timing down to basically about an hour uh, to lay product, file it, prep it, do everything you needed to do in one hour because they kind of changed the nail game with uh, being able to do a full set or whatever nail service within one hour. So we have all the nails just kind of roughed up a little bit. As you can see, the shine is off. I'm going to dust off any extra dust or debris from the buffing, making sure I'm getting all of the dust off. And so everything is looking really good. Okay. So step one, it says nail primer. So that's what we're going to do. Let's prime the nails. Starting with, I always start with my pinky. I don't know why. I know that's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to start with your thumb. But pinky thumb is all the same so what I'm doing is I am putting the nail primer onto the nail nail plate and it really is not tacky or sticky or anything but what this does is further dehydrates the nail and prepare it for the product okay so I'm going to do all of these. And I'm starting from the cuticle, working my way down. And you just have a little small chip there. I broke off the tip, but when I shape them, it's going to be good as new. Okay. So that's one hand with the primer. And we'll do the other hand. And... I am just priming it. I'm going to prime all of them. Okay. I hate when my ring does that. But I don't want to get it soldered together. So it's like choose your battle. And again, this one here, I've um, repaired it. I'm not giving you the middle finger or anything, but I repaired it with a repair, buffed it down, and it looks pretty good. And the index. And okay, so we're done with step one. Okay, step two is the nail base and top coat. So. <clears throat> And then I have my dipping jar here so that I can dip the nail. And then I'm going to put my little spatula down here just in case if I have to um, put some, toss some more product over it. Because, um, yeah, it may require a lot. So being that my nails are a bit long in length, um, what I learned to give me that hump in the middle because it's hard to build it up with dip if you're going to do it the regular way. So how I do it is I apply the first coat. I mean, I, what I want to do, I'm sorry. I want to use the one that's already been opened. I'm sorry because I just went and bought some fresh, but I want to use the one that we already have. So again, back to what I do is watching a YouTube video is you want to start midway and work it from there as your first layer. Okay, start at that pressure point where you kind of want that hump to be and start with that. Okay, and then you're going to dip it and bring it out. Tap. Okay, 
and then that, that is your first um, layer. And so what that's going to do when I go over with the second one, it's going to give me kind of like a little small hump there. So when, I don't know if you can see it from the side there, which yeah, that's kind of good. You can kind of see it kind of gives it a little, little uh, height. Okay, so we're going to move on. And again, due to length. Now, if you have real short nails, you would not do it this way. You would not apply it this way. What you would do is, and see, that's what I said, toss a little bit over it. What you would do is just do one full coat, okay? One full coat. Over their entire nail. Nice and simple. And this is a kit that you can get at Sally's. Like you can get all of this at Sally's. And it's really inexpensive. Especially with, you know, the virus and everything being out. People really not wanting to be out and about. This is something you can do at home. It's real simple. If you know how to polish your nails, you can do this. Um, of course, it gets better as the more times that you do it. The first time, it's going to be a little challenging because it's something new. But once you kind of do it, you're going to love it because it's simple. And it gives you durability because, again, I wear it with my nails being this long. And it lasts two to three weeks. Just depending on what I'm doing. I will suggest like when you're doing housework to wear some kind of gloves. Okay. Because it is a softer material than your regular acrylic. Meaning it's flexible but it is durable. Like it is really durable. So that is our first dip. Okay. And I just kind of want to show you what I've done. See I left the free edge. Left that. So when I go over it the second time, and what I'm going to do is brush off the excess, okay? And as you can see, it's clear, like you, you can't even see it, okay? So we're going to repeat that again, but this time what we're going to do is go over the entire nail. Okay, and if you want to do three layers, that's fine too because that'll give you a hump if you kind of want to go up a little further and not all the way to the cuticle, that's fine too. But I prefer more color than base, so I just do two and kind of do maybe like three dips of color. And what I'm going to do is just fix that little bit right there. Again, I'm going to do it on this nail to the cuticle. Well, almost to the cuticle. Not right on the cuticle, but close. Not on it, but close. Okay, making sure that you're taking your time around those cuticle areas the the object is to not rush do not rush it okay just take your time play some music take your time maybe that'll help me out I'm gonna tap it a little bit okay so we are coming together and I promise you like it looks thick once you get all the coats on it but once you foul it and buff it and shape it it's really not a thick product at all like I like it because it's not thick and it gives you that durability of a thick product though so your nails don't have to be thick looking like cashews 
to be durable. And that's what I like about this product. Okay. So it's only going to stick to where you polish at, okay? So make sure you are taking your time with your polish, polishing, getting all of the edges and sides, okay? And again, you can do this at home. If you can polish, you can definitely do this system. You can definitely do this. And save so much money because when you look at, I think the kit is like maybe 30, 40 bucks. Maybe. And you get everything you need in the kit except for like additional colors and and powders. So it, it pays for itself. It pays for itself after the first, after, by the second manicure that you give yourself, it has paid for itself. Okay. And it's safe. You can do it at home. You don't have to worry about who nails been dipped in that powder because it's your personal stuff. And hey, that's kind of what we need to focus on right now anyway, right? Now I'm brushing off the excess on this nail, on this hand, okay? And then that is our clear, okay? It's the clear. Two coats of clear. Now we're going to get to the pink petal. And so what I'm going to do, I wish I had two of those jars, but I don't. And I meant to pick up one. And being that no one uses my product, I'm going to pour this right back in here because it's mine. I do have separate products that I have for clients when I do them. They're in a separate area. So that's one hand. Um, now what we're going to work on is doing the pink petal, getting our color on, okay? And this is my first time, I believe, using this color so it's new it's really soft I've seen it on YouTube people use it on YouTube so and for what I'm trying to do this is gonna work so I'm just gonna fill the dish up with some powder here and you just want to be really careful with the powder because it is really really extremely 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 fine like it is real fine so that's our pink and so what we're gonna do is repeat now with this we're gonna do the entire nail again being very precise with where we place our top coat or base coat at this point is what we're using it as and I'm going to dip it on in that pink. Let it sit for about two or three seconds. And pull it out. Tap off the excess. And it looks it looks really pretty. It looks it looks really pretty. What you think? It looks really pretty. And you know what? We did this wrong because my pinkies, and I hate it when I try to do art, is that my pinkies always is supposed to be something different. So, you know what? What we're going to do is we're going to push that out the way. First mistake. I am so sorry. That is what my pinkies is supposed to be. So, what we're going to do is we're going to brush off the excess on this pinky right now before we mess up any further. And go ahead and dip it in this glitter. I made this one. This was made. This is a custom. And if you want it, you can contact me and I'll send you some. I um I mean I'll charge you a little bit, but depending on the size that you want. 
but yeah we're the art that we doing requires a different dip for the pinkies so let's go ahead and do that right now and what i'm gonna do is just dip that right on in there like so let that sit and pull that out let's see how that look if that caught what i needed it to catch all that looks like that is going to be pretty all that looks like that is going to be gorgeous oh my goodness i am loving that okay so the pinkies are supposed to be glitters so we'll set that over there put the top on it just in case we have an accident that so that way we don't forget and then we'll come back to our rose petal oh that is so pretty i love it i love it oh that is gorgeous oh, watch out now watch out now so again we coming back to putting it over the entire nail being very careful okay and dip it I am loving this already I sit up and I watch videos just to kind of get inspiration and see some things that I may like a try and I wanted something pink I saw something on YouTube today that inspired me and I said you know what I have been like making glitters and dips and like all kind of stuff today just totally inspired totally inspired i hope you guys can see this good please subscribe to my channel hit the like button if you like what you're seeing so far um again i didn't see very many tutorials with dip um nail art and stuff so i plan on like really getting into showing you some different type of nail arts that you can do with the dip product because most people i'm not seeing when i even when i see people out and they have the dip system because i can pretty much look at your nail and tell what you have on there unless it's something that's fairly new that i don't know nothing about and that is not often because i stay current on the trends and what's going on took me a minute to try to dip for my friends that's going to be like no i told you about the dip you didn't want to do it and i didn't because i just be you know when you stuck in something and you know you like it you just kind of you know want to just stick with that and my main thing was that i couldn't i didn't see people with artwork on it and I am an artwork person. I have to have, my nails cannot be just regular or plain. They have to have something on them that sets them apart from everybody else's. And that's just kind of how I am. My personality is that way. So that's just kind of, you know, me. I like my nails to be different from everyone else's. I like my personality to show through my nails. Um, and that's just how I am. So I didn't see anybody with any dip. Oh, that pink glitter is so freaking awesome. That That is beautiful. That is beautiful. Oh my goodness, that is so pretty. Um, with art, so other than a different color, I did see that a lot. You see that quite a bit. You may have two or three colors. Lately, I've been seeing the mood change. A lot of people was into that, which that was like one of my first um, dips that I that I liked. Okay, let's get our glitter back out so we don't make no mistakes. And get ready to dip that again because we want to make sure we have... Oh, that is going to be so pretty. Now, this is a pink hollow glitter. Um again i like regular stuff but i like stuff that do a little bit extra 
So I really like the hollow glitters because they are super pretty. And just out in the sun and stuff, they just like they just do extra. So I really like the hollow glitters and I have just about every color. And so I just this is my first time using them um in the dip and i made this one like i said i made this today because they're very very fine and i'll show you the hollow that i used is that it no that's not it and this is the hollow glitter that i use see i have a lot of it so and that's how it is by itself see And that's a pretty nice amount and I was thinking I can dip it in this but I didn't think it would adhere and I didn't want to try to mess up so I mixed it with some clear and I think that I have what I'm looking for already so back to our program <laughs> like I said I can babble on especially when it's something that I love and that's nails so And again, I'm applying, this is our second layer of pink. And I'm just applying my top coat, base coat, number three. We're still using number three, step three, or two, I'm sorry, step two. And so you're just dipping. <laughs> Layers and dip. I really like this soft pink. It's really, really pretty. And natural looking. And I think that was what they were going for with this one. But it's really pretty and soft. And then I'm going to show you the side as soon as I get finished with this hand. So you can kind of see um, what I was talking about with building your hump with the gel and I'm going to show you them before I buff them and um, shape them and then I'll show you them again once I'm finished I'll show you them before I buff and shape and then I'll show you after the buff and shaping that's my daughter playing her music. She must have forgot that I was recording. So please excuse that, but I like that song, so. And then what I'm doing now is brushing off the excess on this hand. Let that thumb dry a little bit longer. And I don't know if I need another color coat of pink. Okay, so brushing off the excess of that. Um, I don't know if I want to do one more coat or not. Um, they feel like we might can maybe do one more. So we'll do we'll do one more. 
yeah because they're still a little movable so what we'll do is we'll do one more coat just to kind of make sure that they're thick enough because we don't want them bending and breaking and feeling unstable And once you file them and shape them, like, it's, they're going to look completely different. They look a little weird at first. And again, that is because you're dipping. You really can't control it like you could if you were using an acrylic. You can kind of control it a little bit better. So all of your, your shaping and all of that is going to have to be very, very good. That, that, that's where your skill level comes in with this, is being able to shape them. And also learning how to I just kind of got to keep scooping this down a little bit so we'll have enough when I slide it down in there. And I'm just giving this a third. This is our third layer of color. And again, I say I put on um, three layers of color because my nails are really, really long. And we want them to be durable enough at this length. To withstand wear and tear these nails are going to be so fire like I'm already loving it I can't wait the art part is my favorite that is my absolute favorite part of doing nails is the art and making the customer happy as well after everything is done and complete and I'm really like enjoying their nails and proud and happy to wear them and you know want to tell everybody who did them or when you go out and people just be like oh your nails are so pretty who did them and then I'd be like oh I did and they'd be like for real can you do mine and I'd be like well yeah I can but that is the greatest feeling, so. And so I'm just going to pat this thumb down a little bit because it's looking real funky. Real, real funky. And I'm seeing something on this side that I'm not really happy with. So I'm just going to make sure we get that. But other than that, that's coming out to look really, really good. So we brush off the excess. Now, normally what I do, but I haven't seen, when I looked at the ASP tutorials, I did not see many people doing it. But I've always done it because when I looked at dip, um, situ a dip, uh, videos they always you know did this particular step and that was to put a layer of clear over it so that you protect the color and so I don't know if I really want to do it because if you look from the side see how it's got that nice curvature all of them have a nice little curve to the side just a nice nothing big nothing too much but just a nice little little curve. This one, let's hold it maybe like that. You can see it, but just a nice little little curve. See that? It's not flat. 
So what we gonna do, because we know we're gonna file and buff, I'm going to go ahead and put Now, when you're transferring in this dish, you want to make sure when you're transferring from your color to your clear again to do the top coat, a top layer to kind of encase, all, especially the glitter, because the glitter will definitely, like, come off when you file or, ooh, careful, deteriorate when you file. So, you want to make sure... Let free wipe alcohol and clean your dish before you go back to your clear because you don't want to contaminate it with the color, okay? And some, like I said, that is very, very fine. So you want to make sure that you're cleaning that dish out because that powder is like super fine. And just because you don't see it with the naked eye don't mean it's not in there and it will contaminate the whole process and I said that I'm gonna get more of these because especially when you're doing more than one color it's important so we cleaned out the dish and we're gonna pour our clear back in here to do a clear coat and then to do the other hand so we're gonna be generous with this pour a little bit And we're going to do our encased layer. Okay? So that'll just be one, one, one layer, nice and, and thin. And again, like I said, once you get ready to file this and shape it, it's not going to look this thick. It's going to look really, really good. So, I mean, I get scared every time I do it, so. And it just cases everything in. So I can file over it. Don't have to worry about losing my color. I can shape it without worrying about losing my color. And I like this pink. It's really, 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 really light and natural. Okay, and we're gonna dip that in. Oh, and I'm study like same process, dipping, wiping off any excess as we go. And like I said, I like to build my nails. I don't want them all flat and looking like dips. I want them to look like you don't know what they are. Or to look like acrylics and they're dips. You got acrylics? Nope. Nope, they're not. These are dips, and this thumb is going to be a work, honey. I can tell you already because of the way it is turning out looking like a crocodile right now. But it's going to be okay because I'm a master. And you're going to be like, whoa. Okay, so that's one hand completed with the dip system. Okay. And I know you don't want to see me do the same thing to the other hand, but that's all you do. You're going to do the same thing to the other hand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video so I can go ahead and do my other hand because I know you don't want to see me do that and walk through that. Okay, so give me one second. I'll be right back. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. So the next step before I do my other hand is to top coat it that's what it says 
and then gel activated okay at the same time i know it's weird but we're gonna do it because that's what the instructions said so here we go we're gonna gel over the top Over the top. Said I'm gonna keep using the one that I was using. Sorry about that. I'm gonna use that up first, and then you're going to top coat over it, and then gel activate it. And you have to like keep the brushes in the container. Do not let them sit and be very, very quick with this process. So this is two and three. And then you put the two over it. Take three, which is the activator, and place that over it. Okay? And your brush is, is my brush is getting hard. But what we're going to do is keep it moving. And then the gel activator brush. Is getting hard. So we're gonna keep it moving quickly. I know you're worried, I'm not about this thumb. It's gonna be okay. I am trusting that we got this. Okay. Make sure everything is good and activated. Okay. Now at this point, well that put a nice little shine on it. Never seen that before. Cause I was doing it wrong. So what I'm going to do right now is switch because what it tells you to do is switch the brushes out with the brush cleaner and let it sit. So that's what I'm going to do. Switch that out with that. Put that in there. So hopefully it will soften that back up. But that that's put a little shine on it. It looks it looks real real different. Real different. So I say let it dry, I think, for a few seconds. And then we're going to let them dry. Looks. It's got a little shine. Okay. And we're going to let them sit for a minute. I don't know if it's. Okay. So the pinky is all the way dry and that's weird because I've never like felt that before but I was doing it wrong the first couple of times and that's probably why my top coat when I did it wasn't staying on like I wanted it to so we're waiting for this to dry which like I said the pinky is dry I don't really know yeah that's 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 dry um wow yeah that that's dry too okay so they're all pretty much dry and far as durability we don't have like they're 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 solid they're solid they're solid they're solid like no bending 
they're solid okay so what I'm gonna do is do my other hand then we'll come back for the filing shaping and art okay so stay tuned alrighty now we're back we have all 10 nails dipped <clears throat> in their colors we have cured them with um, the gel activator and um, now we're going to move on to shaping the nails and uh, then applying the art. So as you can see, they have a little bit of shine on them um, so far. So, And what I'm going to use to uh, shape them will be a small, <coughs> coarse, coarse uh, grit mini file and then my um, e-file with the... Uh, sanding bit that looks like the rectangle the big drum rectangle which is um, it's more so for like blending and softening things out it don't take off too much product and that's why I like it versus the sanding band this is when you want to like remove a lot of product at um, at a time so this is good for like soak offs and things like that um, so I have this ready to go but first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shape each nail how I like them and I like mines with the point so I'm gonna start um, basically with the shapes I find that if I shape them first it makes it easy for me to go back and um, smooth them better smooth them out so what I'm gonna do is get my edges together here kind of bringing it to a point because that's how I like my nails to be shaped and I'm left handed so yeah if it looks a little weird to you I'm sorry but And as you can see, my shape is coming. It's just taking me to work this file. And I could uh, maybe use the drill to kind of get the size, but I want to be able to control it, what, what comes off and how much. And sometimes when you use that bit you can't really get underneath there like you want so and that's kind of coming to a point I think um, is it yeah it's coming so when I go over it it'll do a lot better and so I'm gonna try I'm gonna try it with Say, hold on now. This is the wrong time for you to be messing up. All right. And that. Yeah, that works a little bit better. Yeah, I can. Kind of get the point. How I like it. And then I'll come back with the file. Okay. 
Okay, so I will do this to all the nails. And then I'll come back and show you the finished product. So I'm just going to shape up all the nails and get them to the shape that I like. See that pinky? It's getting to that point that I like. Okay, so I'm going to do that to all the nails. And then we'll be back to do the final couple of steps. So sit tight. <clears throat> okay um so i use the e-file just my camera e-file to shape the size real quick now what i'm going to do is go back over them to sharpen them with the file to make them crisp which I like I like doing it that way it made it simple <clears throat> it made it easy I didn't have to do a lot um, it makes it well I don't have to do a lot with the regular file other than just crispy the lines up so I haven't went over top of the nail yet so again I'm just shaping right now And going back over where I have already shaped them kind of with the e-file. Now I'm just making them crisp. Okay, you can see that. It's just making them crispy. Then I'm going to go in and <clears throat> go over the nail. Just kind of getting them shaped nice and pretty. These are going to be gorgeous. Like I'm already in love with them. And I like the point because I can, when I scratch, like it feels better than the square. I actually can scratch and feel it um, like a regular nail. Um no need to be a defense but if I needed to like defend myself I can really hurt somebody with these things because they be so I like them pointed like sharp so and so what I'm gonna do in a minute after I get them shaped, which they look like, you know, I'm, I can work with that for now. Now I'm going to go in and smooth them, like across the top. And I'm going to use my e-file to do that as well. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to take it and I'm going to go over it. Just smoothing out any... Level, leveling out everything like my tips always normally have like a little extra material extra product at my side so I'm just kind of smooth them out going around my cuticles to give them that that <clears throat> shape you like 
where they're not thick around the cuticle. But they're nice and shaped. So I'm just smoothing out anything that's not level. And I'm not digging hard, I'm just kind of going back and forth, keeping my file moving so that it don't burn anything, but it's working. And it's removing, I can control it, it's removing the product perfectly. So like right here I have a little extra so I can kind of focus on that without hurting myself and it just gives me a nice pretty shape that's gorgeous I'm gonna go close around the cuticles a little bit just so that I can have that nice shape then I'm gonna go around this side and then I'll show you And having that um, clear layer over it lets you be able to kind of really shape it and, and smooth it without removing your color. So that is gorgeous. Got a little bit right there. But I'm going to show you this now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just do this to all of them again. That is beautiful. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. You can see that it's pretty. It's nice and shaped. Beautiful. It's got a little curve in it. It ain't thick, it ain't bulky. Bring it a little closer so you can see it. See? It's nice and pretty. Okay, I'm going to do that to all of them and I'll come back and show you that, okay? Okay, so that is one hand that has been buffed out, shaped, everything. I think they're looking pretty good so far. See, that's that shape I was telling you about. See that? Perfect. They don't look thick. They look really, really good. Wait till I polish them and do the finishing product. So that's them up and closed. I haven't did anything else to them but shape them. Clean underneath. That's how they look. Get real long. Okay, so we're gonna do the other, th the same on the other hand. Okay. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is buff them. Okay, that's what it requires. So I'm gonna buff them with the block buffer using the nice fine side center side, and I'm gonna buff them. Buff them smooth, so I'm not like really like poking somebody. And then you're just going to buff them out. Making sure you're getting them sides. And I've used this buffer before, so I bought a new one. I like them when they're broken in. Because I can really, like, get in there. smooth I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wipe them so you can see them before I do the art because that'll be our last thing we have to do 
right now we're pretty much done on one hand fires the ASP system nail system okay and all you would need to do is a top coat that feels so good like I have been doing this wrong I believe like I wasn't curing it right away and I see that that's where I was making my mistake because I was having a hard time getting my top coat to cure right and so I have been reluctant to do it on somebody else until I can absolutely perfect it on myself and I think that I just have done that because they feel really good and we'll see so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wipe them with the alcohol and um, a cloth so you can kind of oh, I love that glitter look at that glitter now oh my goodness wait till I put that top coat on that that's gonna be pretty and they came out real pretty so far nice and durable oh I love that glitter I'm gonna wipe that one more time oh that's gonna be so pretty and we're gonna do the same thing on the other hand stay tuned okay so now that we have all the nails filed and shaped to our liking we got the two pinky nails with the glitter and so now what we're about to do is do the nail art and these again is the ASP um, dip system and I'm going to do some nail art on our dip nails okay so here we go I got my um, foil here because I'm going to use polish instead of paint it just seems like that's a little bit easier to do as far as getting it to stick I've never um, used the polish before as a paint <clears throat> so this is our first time doing it this way and we're gonna do the middle finger and the thumb with the particular nail art we want to do so I'm using my nail art brush and what I'm gonna do is because we're gonna do like camo just doing a couple of little lines like that on these two which is our um, like I said the thumb and the pointer index rather middle finger sorry someone and then we're gonna come back with <coughs> our pink and I could have did this with the black but I wasn't thinking so I wait I could have preserved a little bit of that polish so we're gonna come back with the pink Got the pink on our paper here. Hope you everything is in view for you to see. And then I'm just going to lay that in there. Like so. To give us a 
of like that pink camo type look. I don't know if it's looking like pink camo, but that is what we're going for here. And I'm just putting it there. So you can see them too. And this was, I was inspired by <clears throat> another scene on Instagram. I mean, not Instagram, but and then we're coming back with the white. And I like these um, Sally Hansons. You can get these at Walmart. Like these is the best polishes for stamping or um, art, I guess, because they dry so fast. You don't have to wait for a whole lot of dry time. <clears throat> and they're pretty, pretty thick. So... They are definitely like worth the money. I have just about every color. Well, it's coming out really cute. I like it. As I know that I would. Because and it's this is like super simple because you just kind of go with it, you know? It's really not no bad way to go about doing it. Let's see, that turned out really pretty. That look like camo? Like what? Camouflage? Kind of. Kind of. Mm, okay. That's cute, man. Thank you. She's complimenting me already. See, I already got like compliments on them. And because I just don't want to look like everyone else, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I don't really want to do camo. I'm not going to, I mean, I really want to jazz up these two. So what I'm going to do, I got something even better than that page. I'm going to, because, and people always be like, you love dots and I do. So we're going to dot a couple of dots just, just in here, just to kind of give it. Some, some some depth and just to kind of just give it a little um something a little different. Nothing major, but just, just a little something, you know, to bring it out. I think that's pretty. What you think, Paige? Mm -hmm. I think that's cute. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so what we're going to do is do the same thing on the other hand while that's drying over there. <coughs> Excuse me. Same two fingers cleaning our brushes. I always keep like a little... Um, dab of acetone because it cleans my brushes from the polish quicker. You don't want to use water when you're um, using paints as your um, polish. Now you're going to get a chance to see me work this other hand which I'm left handed so I'm doing my left hand and we're going to just kind of go really slow here because It's kind of difficult for me to do this hand, so I have to really
take my time with it. <clears throat> to make sure, and it's polished, you gotta work quick because like it's already getting dry. This part that I'm working on. And I think that because I'm using <clears throat> acetone to kind of keep my brush clean, it's allowing me to kind of like keep the polish nice and thin. So, but it, 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 it's, it's difficult. But like I said, I've been doing it for so long that I pretty much can get it pretty good. So that is those two so far with the black. And we're going to go back in with the pink. We might need to get it just a little wet because it's drying up already. Like this polish is no joke. And this is pink. Um, What is this? Twinkle, Twinkle Tea. And I like their polishes as well for um, dipping polishes. Like they're really thick, really consistent <clears throat> for stamping. Um, they dry really fast. Um, so I use these. Um, I first started out with the Sally Hansen's um, line and then see if I'm if I'm not careful it it will like start doing its own thing and so I have to really take my time with it because it can it can be tricky I got a piece of lint on that one piece of lint on the tip okay so yeah those are pretty good for, um, and I'm and I'm liking it as a, a nail art. Like it's it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's very like. I have anxiety when I'm doing this hand because, like, I do not. I'm a perfectionist when it comes to my nails. I like certain things. Um, now that I put the dots in here, I really, I'm not liking them. <clears throat> but we're going to stick with it because that's what we did. So we got to stay consistent. I should have just left it alone, but nope, not me. Got to be extra. So. And then the white, we're just going to lay this in and get that. And just kind of get that in there. And if you can see, like, I turn this brush so many different ways to get, <clears throat> to be able to lay the swoosh. Okay, so there is the finished products. Nice and shiny. I love them. They came out so pretty. Came out so gorgeous. See them up close. Even that thumb. That's that thumb that was looking weird and crazy. See? How they all got their little shape. The little hump in it. They're not just flat and straight. And that's that glitter. All oh, that glitter. I love this nail. 
I love them too. That's how they look. That's the finished product of my nails. That is a dip manicure with nail art. You have the camo with the rhinestone nails, glitter nail, nice and pretty. And they're all nice and even, got a little hump in them. Even that thumb that was looking kind of crazy. So it's just knowing how to apply the product to get the look that you desire. I'll be bringing you more nails, more um, nail art uh, tutorials on the dip product. And stay tuned for future tutorials. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, and subscribe. Share. Please share um, my channels and leave any comments or questions that you may have below and I will answer them and get back with you. Thank you so much for watching Custom Nails by Kia on my channel. Thank you and have a good day.